guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey! Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. Under this blanket is Potato. I promise he's there. And I'm sure at some point during this video, he'll poke his head out or do something. It is wild because he really was, prior to me clicking record, he was laying in the bed so peacefully. Bed, it's a chair. But he was laying there so peacefully. And then I started turning on the lights and getting the camera ready. And he is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burrow into this blanket so nobody can see me. But I promise he is there. Judy's on the couch as always. And I am here to check in with Miss Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, the Daily Chantal, Foodie Beauty, Flobby Bobby, Big Beautiful Me, Chantal Al Rafe, Chantal Period, Chantal Bliss, whoever, whatever it is we're calling her today, we are gonna be checking in with Chantal. Now I will say I have been keeping it to like a once a month update when it comes to Chantal videos. And mostly that's because one, I can't keep up with her nonsense. Two, I, I can only watch so much of her just eating and not even telling like fun stories or things like that. Like I used to enjoy her mukbangs, I've said this before, because she would always tell some like ludicrous story or do something crazy. And I honestly just don't feel like any of her mukbangs like meet that level of insanity <laughs> these days and aren't as fun to like watch and react to, so I haven't. But I will say that I have been just watching people talk about what's going on with Miss Chantal on Twitter. And I've noticed she's been trying to do some cooking videos, which have all been uh, very suspicious for the most part. I would say it makes a lot of sense why she does eat out so often. Although I think at some point we've seen her cook some things. I don't know, in my head for some reason, there's some level of me that remembers some time where she did make something that might have looked appetizing. But honestly, I think my brain could just be playing tricks on me. I think I might have gotten hit a little too hard with that volleyball at my volleyball game a couple weeks ago because I don't know that that's actually true. And when you review the stuff that she's made just in the most recent of histories, okay, let's let's do a little walk down uh, memory lane in case you haven't been keeping up with her of some of the great, great dishes that she's made thus far. So the first one we have to start with is this roast chicken. And granted, this wasn't the final, final product, but this was after it spent some time roasting in the oven, and then she moved it to a pan to be on the stove. And I just, like, I know this is going to be very, like, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white kind of thing. But, like, why is this chicken so white? <laughs> why does it look like that? Why is it so white? Now, I will say a lot of people are like, oh, my gosh, she's eating a whole chicken. This is, like, a Cornish hen. It, it's, I think, intended to be small. But, yeah, uh, just the, the color of it <laughs> was so concerning to me when I saw this for the first time. There, of course, was also the homemade <laughs> beefaroni, the Chef Boyardee beefaroni. It looked like this. I, I don't know. I, I Of all the things, honestly, this is maybe the most appetizing looking to me personally, but that's because... I grew up in the middle of nowhere, Illinois, and, and did, in fact, eat things like beefaroni, hamburger helper, whoever, whatever. And so it is giving that, although some of them noodles just look crunchy and dry. And that's maybe my only hang up on it. But of all the things, this is maybe the most appetizing looking. She also decided she's not eating at McDonald's anymore, so she made some homemade <laughs> chicken snack wraps. And, well, I mean, I think you could see for yourself 
the the saddest looking <laughs> chicken snack wrap ever. It is funny though because once upon a time, I think it was her that she was like, I can't give up, I can't give up fast food. I have to go. And then she got like the most mundane like chicken wrap or something from from someplace. I don't even remember what it was. But I made a whole video showing how you could make like a healthier homemade version of it. And it certainly looked better than this as well. So I just, <laughs> I just, <sighs> and then outside of the video we're going to react to today, which she just posted a couple hours ago, the most recent other dish that she made on her channel was this fish that I think she baked in the oven and then covered in some kind of lemon cream sauce. And this was like the final presentation. And I don't know how it tastes, but just looking at this, it's just a, gr a gray beige slop of a mess in a plate with some cucumbers cut up and sat beside it. So no, I don't find this appetizing looking either, let alone like I don't love fish to begin with, but this looks, this looks, it looks how it looks. <laughs> you let me know what you think in the comments below. But yeah, she's been living this, I'm a, I'm a chef, I, I am a homemaker, I'm a cooking icon or something. Well, I don't know if she's referring to herself as an icon, but she has been trying to put out these cooking videos. She even uh, got a little chef's hat <laughs> and an apron that doesn't fit her. So she's taking this real seriously. It's a big deal for her what we're doing over here. And She's, she wants us to take her seriously as a chef in the kitchen now. She, of course, has still been doing mukbangs, and she even, you know, has done the, the classic Chantal trope where she's like, I'm never eating fast food again. And it was for a, a Taco Bell mukbang, I believe. And then she she has since done more, more fast food mukbangs. There was one that was, I think, like, a fast food chain that was local to Kuwait and then she also literally like got Krispy Kreme donuts which is maybe not exactly fast food but Marcus Welby in my opinion and she's also posted some very long unhinged community tab posts as well which I'm sure is not a surprise to anybody uh, but I did just want to inform you that that surely hasn't stopped either and she's also started going live on TikTok <laughs> as well. So that's kind of what you missed on Glee or on Foodie Booty's channel. But what we're going to do today is lean into reacting a little bit more to this cooking journey she's on because today she posted a video called Making Elotes at 5 a.m. And this stood out to me for a few reasons. One, I love elote. It's one of my favorite <laughs> little foods to eat. It's so good. You can, if you don't know what elote is, it's a, uh, a Mexican like street corn. You can get it on the cob and it comes with like a, a like white mayonnaise type of sauce on it, usually with some um, cheese and also some like uh, smoked paprika, I think. I don't know, I've never made it before, but it's real good. It tastes real yummy. Or you can get basically that same thing, but all the corn cut off the cob and in a cup. And I don't know about where y'all live, but like, it's very common that you can like find these from vendors on the street here in Chicago. So we often will just stop and grab those a lot here. They're so yummy and delicious. And so, of course, when I saw Chantal making one of my favorite things to eat, I just knew I had to watch her ruin it because I'm a glutton for punishment. But I'm also intrigued because the 5 a.m. of it all, like never at 5 a.m. Well, usually I'm not awake at 5 a.m., so let's start there. But, <laughs> but never at 5 a.m. have I been like, I really, I really need some elote. Like, I really, really, really need it so badly. Let alone been like, I need it so badly and I'm gonna make it in my kitchen. It's sort of giving like an iconic Chantal mukbang moment where she had the lobster mac and cheese back when she was still living in Canada years ago. Probably like closer to when I started covering her 
than we are to like real time. So it's been a long time since she did it, but uh, yeah, and, and that's what I'm hoping for, some of that unhinged behavior. So anyways, now that I've got you caught up and I've talked and talked and talked and talked, let's just get to get to, shall we? The good news about this video is that it's only nine minutes long, so <laughs> if it's awful, we shouldn't be in misery for too long. <laughs> Booty booties. <laughs> Hello, Beezers. Uh, Did you know you wait. have to request a personalized video for I, me on Cameo? That I, for, I forgot she advertises her Cameo in every video these days, so I'll skip over the rest of it. But go get a Cameo from me if you're interested. I'm also on there. Why, first of all, why was she sneaking in through the door? Because second of all, she clearly already had the camera set up. What? But also, why are you sneaking through the door at, at 5 a.m.? Is it because you're, like, ashamed to be up and making food at 5 a.m.? Making food maybe you wouldn't normally be eating at 5 a.m.? I don't understand. It was real goofy. I do appreciate it. It, w it was giving a little camp. It was, it was giving just a tiny bit of camp, but I don't understand. Are, are you ashamed to be up doing this at 5 a.m.? Back to my kitchen. I'm pretty hungry. I was laying in bed. It's like 5 in the morning. Uh-huh. And I haven't been able to sleep. And I was thinking, you know when you're thinking of, like, you're hungry, so you're thinking of combinations of things you have in your kitchen? Uh-huh. Well, the only thing I have, we have to do groceries today, later today. I have some frozen corn, uh -huh. and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try to make a lotus. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just laying in bed thinking, what, what kind of nightmare concoction can I put together and eat at 5 a.m.? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's All right, go. so it's frozen, but whatever. So first thing I'm going to do is fill a pot with, uh, with hot water. I mean, I just honestly, I don't know. I guess I can relate sometimes. I guess there's probably been times where I've woken up hungry. Although it doesn't sound like she's woken up hungry. It sounds like she's been in bed not able to sleep. And she's just sitting there thinking about food. <laughs> so, so maybe not exactly the same. But there have been mornings where I've woken up and I've been like, ooh, what am I going to eat this morning? Also, I know she's limited, probably, in, in the space she has to film. I don't understand why the, the, if this is truly a cooking video, why the camera is set up all the way over here when all the cooking is going to happen over there. Also, where's that, where's that chef's hat? Where's that apron? They look so good on you, Chantal. And... I should run it underwater, shouldn't I? I don't know. I don't know anything about cooking corn. <laughs> I don't know anything about cooking corn. That's why I buy mine from the street vendors who actually know how to make it. <laughs> oh, this is riveting content. I think that made it easier. The, the riveting content of hearing running water while I stare at a, a broom and dust pan <laughs> in the corner of your kitchen. Corn on the cobs here. The corn cobs. Uh-huh. Ooh. Four. Okay. Frozen as hell. <laughs> two for me, two for Salah. You, are you trying to tell me that Salah is going to be also eating elotes at five in the morning? You're telling me that you really are going to give him two of those <laughs> at five in the morning? So, we're going to need some mayo. Love. Some parm because I don't have cottage cheese. I was gonna say, yeah. Pickles I, I, I don't know. I couldn't remember what the name of that cheese was, but I'm glad she said it. That is the cheese that they typically use for some elote. Parmesan, same, same 
I guess, general concept, but does have a different flavor to it. Back on now? Like a similar texture, not similar flavor. You know what I'm saying? And a huge thing of water. Why is it shaped like that? <laughs> Why is it shaped so phallically? That, that's just my, my ass in the gutter. What do you know about your ass being in the gutter? Oh, yeah. Want a pickle? Now, girl, what is what is eating these? I was like, what is she breathing so hard, struggling to do to get these? It, it, it turns out she's trying to get some pickles out of a jar. But what does this have to do with making a lotes? You, if I if I recall correctly, you are hungry for a lotes, not pickles, girl. Where where did the pickles come in? <laughs> Want a pickle? <laughs> what is this noise? Want a pickle? <laughs> is this really, this is really the, the content? Yeah, we have to do groceries because I gotta get back to cooking. We don't have very much here now. Okay. Listen, I didn't respectfully, <laughs> and then, um, well, honestly, disrespectfully, <laughs> I didn't click on this video to listen to you breathe heavy and eat pickles. I'm here to watch you fucking cook some elote. Let me at least see the corn and the water or something. Uh, check it out. Oh, she's, she's obliging. She's going to take me over there. Oh, no. <laughs> Just, just kidding. She's showing me her empty, empty, empty fridge. Although, look at all these eggs, girl. I think those are eggs, right? That that would have made a beautiful breakfast. High protein would have been stunning. This is our fridge. We have some cream cheeses up there, some eggs, labna, uh -huh. milk, water. Okay. More pickles. Carrots. <laughs> These fruits and veggies are still good. Okay. Some butter, some butcher, some eggs. Wait. These are still good. Are, are, some butter. Th these are separate. What, were those things at the top of their fridge not eggs? Am I stupid? Did I miss something? Either way, she's got eggs. Eggs would have made a beautiful breakfast. Although, I will say, I've said this before. I'm not opposed to a weird food for for breakfast. I don't know that I've ever considered, you know, waking up in the morning and making a lotes for breakfast, but I, I don't hate it as a as a concept. Some butcher, some eggs, ketchup, mustard, uh -huh. a thing of water. That's for the shisha. Okay. So as you can see what? You eating another fucking pickle? It's <laughs> not what I signed up for. This is, I don't know why I'm acting so surprised. <laughs> because I, I always click on these damn videos expecting one thing and getting something that I did not sign up for. Something that I did not pay for. Yeah. Separate, come on. Girl. <laughs> the pickles are driving me nuts. Please. Let's stay focused, Chantal. I'm going to put the cord in here. I, listen. Listen. Stop it. Stop it right now. Oh, don't mind me. Just take it. Just taking a refreshing drink of pickle juice straight from the fucking jar. <sighs> it's okay. It's all right. I know that's some people's gig. I know some people love the pickle juice. I only just got into my pickle era in recent history, probably in the past year. I've been interested in pickles as a concept, 
before that I hated it. So it's still a big leap for me to to want to envision myself ever drinking the juice from the pickles from the pickle jar directly. So my apologies if that's your gig. It's just not something I can envision myself doing. <laughs> and it's certainly not something I signed up to watch today. Yeah, drink water, Ooh. girl. Drink water. Pickle juice? <coughs> Where it's at, man. All right, I'll be back when the corn is boiled. Maybe 15 I, minutes or so. I wish... I wish you would have left a long time ago and just came back <laughs> to when the, the corn was boiled. Why is that corn white? Boil, 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 right trouble. Or is that just ice? It's still frozen. Oh, there we it go. It kind of feels like, uh, <laughs> maybe not. I'm I was going right. to say, it kind of feels like she might need a bigger pot for this. Okay. And the heavy breathing. The heavy breathing, the frozen corn. Mmm, cinematic excellence. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Let that boil. Yeah, for sure. It's smelling corny in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's smelling corny in, in addition to other things. It kind of makes me think of, did you, do y'all remember my rant about scented trash bags and scented dog poop bags? And how when you, you get lavender scented dog poop bags, all you're doing is is now getting lavender scented dog poop. <laughs> it's kind of like, in this situation, what I'm thinking is like, we're just, we just got corn scented Chantal, <laughs> which might not be too far away from what Chantal smells like anyways, but we're getting corn scented Chantal. Time to stream. One thing I do have that I bought, Best thing ever. Tongs? Grab the corn. Well, would you Ooh, look at right. that? Would you look at that? Now, we're gonna put some mayonnaise. Okay. I'm, I'm a little worried about th this. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a yeah. little worried about this, because wait, it, she said, she said that the there was the mayo and there's also, she got the Parmesan cheese because the Cotija cheese, or I'm probably saying that wrong, my apologies. But the cheese that you normally use for a low taste, she doesn't have. Did she mention anything about anything else? Okay, she's brushing the mayo on. This brush is coming in handy as well. The corn is very hot, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Borrow some of that mayo. Miss Ma'am, I feel like she is. She... I'm just gonna coat the corn. <laughs> why did Why did she coat every side of that first piece of corn? But isn't doing it for every other corn. Some mayonnaise. Oh, okay. She's going back. She's going back. My hands are clean, whether you believe that or not. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna guess probably not. Just based on previous hygiene habits I've seen of yours. You based on my track record, I guess. I'm a changed woman, guys. Are you? All right, here we go. Are you? Because I'm also thinking about when I was watching back that um, that roast chicken video, there was this one part where she was holding, she, like, made some potatoes in, like, the air fryer, and she was holding up the air fryer basket, and one of her hands, I'm pretty sure it was just, like, covered in, like, the oil and seasonings that she used on the potatoes, but it looked so gross and unappetizing. If I can find the particular screenshot, I will I will share it with you all here. The the listen, the breathing sounds have been I she's I think always had the breathing sounds in videos. But it's, it is heavy. <laughs> they are heavy in this video. Maybe just because I haven't watched in a while or watched her do anything in a while that wasn't her just like sitting and eating food. Okay. So we have mayo. 
Then we have some parmesan. Okay. Like that. It's kind of messy though, isn't it? I think the parm. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's more than just mayo and, and cheese. <laughs> I do think it's more than just mayo and cheese, so I'm hoping she has some uh, some other ingredients as well. I might have to go look up and see what the recipe is afterwards just to compare. I think the mayo helps the parm a, a deer, you know? messy. Well, I'm, okay. sure, I'm, I'm sure part of the reason it's messy is just how you're do, choosing to do it. Because you are being kind of just like, you're just kind of being messy. A little bit of salt. Okay. A little also, bit of pepper. Also, I feel like... Um, mm. I feel like at one point there, just a second ago, the, like, sleeve of her abaya was, like, going into the mayo and cheese mixture on the on the corn. But I guess if you look at her abaya right now anyways, it's covered in little stains and spots anyways. So I guess it's not maybe that surprising. <laughs> Should be a little. And some... Oh, there we go. Paprika. 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 There you go. That's that's what I was thinking. That there was paprika in it. Okay. Okay. I'll turn that gently over. <laughs> I want to try authentic elote someday. Uh huh. All right. Bit of pepper. I don't like. Do you think she notices how heavy Bit of she's salt. breathing? It's like, especially when she's not saying anything or doing and anything, it's like the only thing you that. can hear. <laughs> All right. And there you have it, Amo Tess. There you, Let's give it a try. There you have it. Oh, we get to see you try it too? A lot of her, um, a lot of her cooking videos lately, what she will do is she'll cook it in one video and then sit down to film a mukbang in another. But maybe, maybe the kitchen is the only place she can film without bo bothering Sala right now because, you know, it's 5 a.m. and she's making a lote. Mm. Mm. I don't need that. It's sweet. I don't need the moaning. <laughs> I don't need the moaning. That's oh, nice. And also, what is this music? This music does not fit Chantal's brand whatsoever. I thought about that earlier when she was sneaking through the door as well. But now that it's made a comeback, I feel like I just have to say something. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good. Uh -huh. I'm going to with my husband. And then hopefully we can get some sleep. I, I don't understand why y'all are awake at 5 a.m. eating a lote. I, and I'm not actually convinced that Saul is awake at 5 a.m. <laughs> eating a lote. With a belly full of corn. <laughs> Even though we have to be up in a few hours, whatever. Ta-da! Bye, guys. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, Miss Ma'am. Oh, my God. What a journey that was. <laughs> How fascinating. What a world to live in in this moment. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all we got for today. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing down below if you haven't already. Make sure to um, hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!